self-explanatory. But watch what happened when our undercover investigator, Paul Parker, walked into the Terrell Police Department. I don't know their form. Parker says he doesn't want to give details. He just wants to know how to file a complaint against an officer. And if there's a complaint form, he can take home. But you're going to have to start with what happened, who, when, where, and how are the procedure stops right here. But that's not the Terrell Police Department policy. It specifically states a citizen can mail in a complaint, phone it in, or take a complaint form home with him. If you want to complain, officer's great. Complain. But you're going to have to start with me because you're not getting anywhere else until you tell me what happened. Okay? Because that's my job. That's why I'm here. Okay, I'm saying that, uh, you know, if, if an individual was uh, harassed or abused by an officer mm -hmm. and they might be a little intimidated or uncomfortable coming in speaking to another officer, they might just want to take a form and fill it out or write down a, a letter in regards to that. So well, That's not how it works. That what, what you're asking for doesn't exist. Parker keeps asking if there's a form he can take, but this officer is not going to give it to him until Parker tells him what he wants to hear. I'm not refusing, officer. Well, yes, you are. I've asked you four times. Okay. Who is the officer and what has happened and you hadn't told me nothing? Is there a number that somebody can call? You're going to get me when you call up here? You don't seem to understand. Between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., this is my city. I'm in charge of this city. This is my city. We showed Police Chief Jeffrey Witt how his officer treated our investigator. That wasn't the correct procedure. Uh, the correct procedure is when someone comes in and asks for a farm, if they want, they don't have to talk to you. You can give them the farm and they can take it home. The way he talks, the tone of voice, I'm in charge. Those kinds of things, uh, I think, can intimidate the average citizen and discourage someone from filing a complaint if there is a complaint. Dr. Gary Sykes is the president of the Southwest Legal Foundation in Richardson. It's an organization made up of former law enforcement officials that studies the ethics and policies of police agencies across the country. He says this officer's demeanor wasn't just discouraging, but unprofessional. <laughs> Clearly, you know, turning around and constantly spitting in front of that person uh, obviously communicates a kind of contempt for that person. That is rather embarrassing. I picked up on that. I, I do think that uh, obviously we have uh, <laughs> some people need to be uh, some training in that. 